Hi, my name is Yibeng. I'm a child with A21, A244. I will present the introduction for our assignment. Finance lecture provides a second method for synthesizing the finance information on the income statement and balance sheet. Lecture is divided into several categories. That is liquidity lecture, capital suture lecture, access management, efficiency lecture, profitability lecture, and market value lecture. Overall, liquidity is analyzing by comparing the company current assets to the company current liability. Capital suture ratio refer to the best a company finance its assets. Access management efficiency ratio assess how well a company manage its assets to increase the wealth. There are two basic determinants of corporate profitability, which are cost control and asset utilization efficiency. Price earning ratio and market to book ratio are the two categories is divided into market value. Hello everyone, my name is Fisher Sana Farere. My meeting number is A21 A3172. Today I'm going to present my part, which is the business nature of Nestle. Nestle is a global food and beverage business that offers a wide range of products to meet customer needs. The company was founded in 1856 and has become a re-owned brand. Nestle focuses on consumer nutrition, health and wellness. Nestle also emphasizes sustainability and social responsibility. Nestle is competitive in established and developing markets. They expand into pharmaceutical sectors such as Nestle Health Science and Nestle Skin Health. Thank you. Salam sejahtera to lecturer, my name is Chen Yue and my lecture number is A21, A24, and I will present the part of business nature of Dutch Lady. The first is brand reputation. Dutch Lady is a well-known household brand in Malaysia. Second is product range. Dutch Lady specializes in the production of various dairy products, including liquid milk, yogurt, flavor milk, milk powder, and cheese, categorizing to the needs and different customer groups. Three is corporate social responsibility. Dutch Lady actively engages in initiatives to uplift communities and support social costs. Focusing on education, healthcare, and social welfare, particularly for children and families in need. Four is research and development. The company invests consistently in research and development to produce new and enhanced products that mean changing customer needs and preferences. The last one is customer focus. Dutch Lady value customer feedback and involvement to ensure their product and service. Hi, my name is Mushuki, metric number A218330. I'm going to present the ratio analysis 2019 to 2021 of Nestle Malaysia. This is the four key financial ratio, which are total assets, total liabilities, net profit, and basic and diluted earnings. The total assets and total liabilities slightly increased from 2019 to 2021, while the net profit and basic and diluted earnings decreased in 2020 and increased in 2021. Next, liquidity ratio. Liquidity ratio includes current ratio, exit test ratio, average collection period, inventory turnover ratio, and net working capital ratio. Capital structure ratio. The debt ratio of Nestle Malaysia in 2021 increased compared to 2019 and 2020. The time interest earn ratio of 2021 is 21.93 times. Asset management efficiency ratio of Nestle Malaysia. The total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover ratio decreased since 2019. Profitability ratio. It includes gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, operating return on assets, and return on equity. All these decreased from year 2019 to 2021. Next, I'm going to talk about the ratio analysis for company Dutch Lady. Firstly, I'm going to show you the total assets, total liabilities, net profit, and also basic and dilated earnings infographic. Next is the liquidity ratio. For 2019 and 2021, which has current ratio, asset test ratio, average collection period, inventory turnover ratio, networking capital ratio. Next is the capital structure ratio, for which has debt ratio and time interest earned ratio. Another one is asset management efficiency ratio, which has total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover ratio. Lastly, there is profitability ratio, which has gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, operating return to assets, and return on equity. Hi, my name is Lame Rong. Number metric is A21A3138. Now, I would like to continue with the horizontal analysis for the Nestle Malaysia company. In conclusion, all the change of liquid ratio is getting worse. It is because the increase of the current liability and decrease of the current asset. In capital structure ratio, the debt ratio is getting better and the time interest earn ratio is getting worse. For example, the debt ratio of Nestle Malaysia was increased from 75.61% in 2019 to 80.84% in 2021. The total asset turnover is getting better as fixed asset turnover ratio is getting worse. For example, the fixed asset turnover of Nestle Malaysia in 2019 was 4.32 times, decreased to 3.74 times in 2021. Last, all the profitability ratio are getting worse. For example, the operating returns on asset of Nestle Malaysia is getting worse from 2019 to 2021. As there is a sharp fall from 33.45% to 26.34%, this shows that the rate of earning on the total asset investment of the firm that results from operating income is low. That's all for me. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Liu Songying. My metric number is A21A3284. Today, I'm going to present about the change of liquidity ratio in Dutch Lady. In liquidity ratio, current ratio, asset tax ratio, and net working capital ratio increased from 2019 to 2021. Besides, average collection, inventory, turnover ratio are decreased from 2019 to 2021. Next is capital structure ratio. In capital structure ratio, debit ratio getting decreased from 67.44% in 2019 to 45.44% in 2021. Next is time interest earn ratio. In 2019, is 38.10 time and decreased to 31.52 time in 2020 and increased to 84.91 time in 2021. Continue with asset management efficient ratio in Dutch Lady. In asset management efficient ratio, total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover ratio is decreased from 2019 to 2021. Lastly, profitability ratio in Dutch Lady. All profitability ratio decreased in 2020 and increased in 2021. So I will continue the presentation with the part liquidity ratio. Before that, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ong Ziyong and my metric number is A213427. Based on the data, the current ratio of Nestle Malaysia is 0 0.59 times. It's worse than the Dutch Lady milk industry per half 1.5 times. Current ratio assists test ratio, inventory turnover ratio, time assist title liquidity ratio between the company is 2021 Nestle Malaysia Dutch Ready Industry per heart. The acid test ratio of Malaysia, Nestle Malaysia is 0 0.27 times, it's less than Dutch Lady Milk Industry per heart 1 times. The average collection period of Nestle Malaysia was 24 days, better than 24.59 days recorded by Dutch Lady Milk Industry per heart. The time of inventory turnover ratio of Nestle Malaysia was recorded 5.07 times, better than Dutch Lady Milk Industry per heart, which is 4.56 times. The net working capital ratio of Nestle Malaysia, which is 788,419. Ringgit, Malaysia is worse than the Dutch Lady Milk Industry per which is 176,119. It shows that the Dutch Lady Milk Industry per is more quickly able to convert its assets to cash to meet the it payments obligation as their full due. Overall, the liquidity ratio of Nestle Malaysia is worse than Fairface and Neville Holding BHD in 2021. Next, capital structure ratio. The debt ratio of Nestle Malaysia active for 48% is better than the Dutch Lady Milk Industry per head, which is 45.44%. The table shows the times interest earn ratio of Nestle Malaysia was recorded 21.93 times less than Dutch Lady Milk per head, which is 84.91 times. My name is Jason Tayu, my nomination is 81 In this presentation, we compare the assets management efficient ratio of Nestle Malaysia and Dutch Lady. Nestle Malaysia has a higher total assets turnover of 1.92 times compared to Dutch Lady ratio of 1.62 times, indicating their ability to generate from the total asset. However, the facility is in the fixed asset turnover ratio with a ratio of 5.5 times compared to the necessary ratio 3.74 times. Improving their better utilization of fixed assets for the generation, this ratio provides a variable insight into the company assets management efficient and operational performance. The comparability analysis of the profit ability ratio of Dutch Lady and Nancy Ratio Dutch Lady are performance Nancy in the key metric a higher gross profit margin of 35.36% PS 34.50% and the superior operating profit margin of 35.37% PS 13.71% Dutch Lady net profit percentage 31.87% while Nancy record 9.94% moreover Dutch Lady operating return on assets is 40.85% compared to Nancy 26.34% however Nancy in the return on equity with 97.70% percent again that's already 64.2 percent overall that's already performance exceptionally well in profitability ratio in 2020 compared to national ratio hi my name is Jonas Krishna my metric number is 8182270 next recommendation for Dutch lady milk industry a drop in symptoms of low sales from 2019 to 2021 this can be avoided by a relationship with supply and cooperating with them more effectively Next, for Nestle Malaysia company, a positive current ratio must be given in order to function effectively with cash flow, implement and see like improving invoicing and collision procedure and providing discount for early payment. So final, for both companies, increase their total asset turnover because the company total asset did not reach target profit at the end of the year, which is result in no profit for company. Hello. My name is Anandan Analaki Sandramugan. My matrix number is A21A2397. Today, I am going to present our overall financial management conclusion. In conclusion, Nestle Malaysia and Dutch Lady Mall Industries Berhad have shown information about business nature and ratio analysis, that is with both horizontal and vertical analysis. First, liquidity ratio. Second, asset test ratio. Third, average collection period. Next, inventory turnover ratio. Then, debt ratio. Finally, profitability ratio. Overall, Nestle Malaysia 
as a higher profit margin than Dutch Lady Milk Industries. However, Dutch Lady has a better cash ratio and better inventory turnover, indicating effective working capital management. That's all from me. Thank you.